So we start off with um, determining the moles of water, because that's what they want to know. What is the quantity of moles of water? But what we do is we, we take this mass of water that is produced and we divide it by the molar mass of water, which is shown right here. Okay, so that gives us the point zero, uh, zero 0.095. Next question. What quantity of hydrogen atoms um, is in the sample? There are uh, two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of water. So if the amount of water, if the number of moles of water was 0 0.009045, there are twice, there are twice the amount of hydrogen as there, um, there's twice the amount of hydrogen per one water molecule. So the amount of hydrogen atoms is twice this amount because for every one water there's two hydrogens. So next question. This is why we multiply um, that previous number, 0 0.009, 4 by 2. So this might be the step. I'm not sure, but I'll go I'll continue. Um, what quantity, what is the quantity of carbon in the sample? So here we have to um, convert the number of uh, grams of carbon dioxide to moles. And let's submit that. And we divide 0.6 by 44 grams per mole, which is the molar mass of carbon. And um, here we determine the amount of oxygen. And what we do in this step is a bit involved. We figure out the actual mass of hydrogen, the mass of carbon atoms by multiplying the moles times the molar mass. So these, calcu these calculation here, this calculation here, is the mass of hydrogen and the mass of carbon. And we subtract these two values from the total mass of the vitamin C. Because the vitamin C is made up of hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen only. If you subtract away the hydrogen and the carbon, you'll have oxygen remaining. And uh, so, now to convert that mass, 0.218, which I have right over here, convert that mass to moles by dividing that mass by the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16. And finally, you pick the correct ratio between hydrogen and carbon, which do that by looking at the ratios of for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Let's scroll this over. And this is three. This could be rounded off to four, and this is three. So the hydrogen over the carbon is four to three. This is what I submitted there. If you have any other questions, still not clear. Let me know which part here you have a question on still.